Hello. So the moment I saw this dress worn by Monica Aurea to the popular style blogger, I was just like, wow, wow. If you know me, you know I am a sucker for fuchsia and yellow. I think this dress, the volume was the selling point. It's just a pretty, pretty dress. So let's break down the elements of the design. I see a baby doll silhouette. You can see the empire style line just at the under bust area. Of course, there's fullness everywhere. A bubble silhouette at the skirts, a bubble silhouette at the sleeves as well, and cut out neckline in front at, at the back. I also see a lowered armhole, which allows all of that volume at the sleeves to, to, um, to fit in nicely. Of course, they've contained fullness using gathers. It's a dress by Kiki Vargas. Just stunning. I shared how to modify a basic body sloper with a shoulder bust dart into an empire line pattern in a previous video. It's really very simple to do. So my dress will not be an exact replica. In the original design, the underarm points and the necklines were both lowered to the underbust level, but I will raise mine so that it's not so exposed. So I first made a twirl using Ankara fabric so I could test out the pattern and correct any issues. There was just one issue with the neckline being slightly too wide and it kept falling over my shoulder and so I tightened the neckline in the pattern. I used the crepe back satin for the shell fabric and a raw silk for the lining. So because the dress is fully lined, I have layered both together and I'm cutting at the same time. It's so much faster this way. So the front bodice piece will be cut on fold and not separately like the back bodice. So I've learned that tracing my darts on the fabric helps me to sew my darts really precisely. I have this method where I use a pin and a marker to trace it out. So I use the pin to form pricks which highlights the base and the peak of the darts and then I trace accordingly. It's really very easy. So based on the design, the darts on the shell fabric will be stitched together using gathers. But I'll be sewing the darts on the lining the usual way. Butterfly sleeves add a gorgeous statement detail to a dress. I just love the volume, so beautiful. I already shared a detailed pattern making tutorial in a previous video, so simple. In addition to underlining the shell fabric, doubling the fabric also reinforces the sleeves and adds a nice structure and body. This method of folding is very efficient as it removes the need to hem the sleeves. So I'll be underlining using organza fabric. I love it because it has the right weight and texture. So stitch both layers of fabric together along the short edge and afterwards flip it inwards and then you see that you have four layers all around. The fullness will be contained using gathers, scrunching the top edge so that it fits snugly into the armhole of the dress. So I'm going to start by sewing the darts. I do not enjoy sewing darts, so let me get that out of the way. Thankfully, I only have two darts to sew on the front bodies of the lining piece. The darts on the shell will be held down using gathers and there are no darts on the back bodies because they disappeared when I did the contouring um, for the neckline. Yay! <laughs> so I have this habit where I like to first of all baste my darts with a hand needle 
It's a bit OCD, I know, but I like how precise it leaves my darts when I then sew on the sewing machine. So let me get started with that. It's just using running stitches, basically, just to hold it down. So that when the machine needle has to pass, it passes precisely. I don't like pinning dots when I sew. And I'm done. So this way, I am sure of stability when sewing on the machine. So let's get started. Yeah. I also have this habit of, um, when getting to the apex of my darts, I reduce the stitch length to say one, and then I finish it off. That way, I think it, the tighter it is, it's like um, a sort of knot, basically. I think everyone has their own methods for sewing, tackling darts. <laughs> so the second one, Again, getting close to the apex, I reduce the stitch length and finish it off to nothing. And I'm done. So the dots are in. Looking perky. <laughs> Next, I gather the dots on the shell bodies using the cord and zigzag stitch method. I've shared a tutorial on how to do this in a previous video. It's really very simple. But the dots on the lining piece were stitched the usual way without gathers. So here's the shell piece with gathers and here's the lining piece sewn the normal way. Now sew each set separately at the shoulders and at the sides. A zipper will later be attached to the shell piece which will run into the skirt. So the skirt is basically a large rectangle scrunched at the top using gathers and then attached to the bodies. So here are the dimensions I use for my own rectangle. You could adjust yours accordingly depending on the fullness you want or the length you prefer. So after cutting out the required rectangle, I created gathers on the skirt using the cord and zigzag stitch method. I love this. It's so easy. And after sewing the zigzag tunnel, I then pulled the cord, scrunching up the fabric so that it's the same width as the body's waistline. The gathered skirt piece and the bodice will be stitched together. So also create a gathered skirt for the lining bodies and attach it the exact same way. An invisible zipper was attached to the shell. And then the completed lining and shell pieces were attached at the neckline, center back area, and also at the armhole for stability before joining the sleeves. Okay, so here's the situation updates. I have, first of all, gone around the four layers with um, the longest stitch that things are nice and stable. I've also used my overlocker to search and then sort of the edges are like nicely 
finished and then I'm about to go over it with the cord and zigzag stitch to create the gathers. I have created a lot of gathers on this project. But I like it, it wasn't hard at all. I think with this cord method, you know what to expect and there are no surprises. So I'll just use the cord, align it within the foot, in between the foot and then I'll just use the zigzag. It's very simple, very, very simple. I think I shared a video, a separate video showing how to. I did actually. So let's do it. Then I attached the gathered sleeve pieces into the dress armhole. It looks so beautiful. I love the volume. It's such a beautiful dress. Finally, I hemmed the dress skirt using a deep hemming technique. Thank you for watching.